thing is um, August 24th of 2019. Turn the light on. And um, so we we stayed at Herky Creek, which is right next to pretty much across the street from Lake Hemet on the 74. It's eight miles from Idlewild and. Um, we stayed there last night. We got up at uh, 4:30 this morning. We wanted—I wanted to get up at 4 o'clock, but eh. <laughs> anyway, uh, we had some breakfast and coffee. We're on our way to Idlewild to get our permit, <clears throat> and then we intend to go from Humber Park in Idlewild uh, up to San Jacinto Peak today, and that's basically about a 4,300 elevation gain, starting at about. I believe it's, I believe it's right around 6,000 feet in elevation up to 10,834 feet in elevation. And it's a pretty hard hike. It's the uh, second tallest mountain in Southern California, the tallest one being San Gregorio. Um, so this will be our fifth out of the uh, six pack of peaks in Southern California. And after that, we'll probably do either San Gregorio and Powell as part of the uh, PCT. And I always enjoy riding on the PCT or dry, or hiking on the PCT. Anyway, um, so yeah, it um, that's what we intend to do. Hopefully, we'll hopefully we'll be able to do it. And if not, well, we, we will at least uh, have all of you want to say hi. Okay. So it's um, August twenty fourth, two thousand nineteen. Right now it's uh, 7.20.35 in the morning. We've been hiking for about 50 minutes. We've gone uh, a little over two miles up Devil's Slide. Um, there's not that many people here. There's some people coming out from uh, going up Deer Springs. Some people going up Marion Mountain. And we saw a couple before us, maybe before us, uh, here through Devil Slide to Saddle Junction of the PCT to uh, yeah from Humber Park up to the peak um, <clears throat> and it's uh, yeah it's actually been pretty good I'm not as tired as I thought it would be right now and again we've only been two miles but um, oh wow there's some water here Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fill up with water here. It's too early. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait till we get to like Wellman Divide. <laughs> fill up, fill up over there. Well, still we're in August and there's still water running. Um, so, whew, this is a. Uh, we probably have about a half mile, maybe three quarters of a mile before we get to Saddle Junction. We'll take a break there. And we'll keep on going. Hi, Ale. Can you want to say hi? Hi. And there's a bunch of bees over here. Probably because of the water. But anyway, here's uh, the bees all over. There's the water. I could actually fill up there. Oh my gosh, look at this fresh water. Cool. I don't want to hang out here. I don't feel like getting bitten by the bees. Stung by the bees. Anyway, uh, we'll continue to climb a little bit more. And, and it's good. We stayed over at Herky Creek yesterday. Um, at our favorite camp spot there, which is number 39. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> don't tell anybody that number 39 is the best spot in Herky Creek to camp at, okay? <laughs> Shh, it's a secret. And don't tell anybody. <laughs> uh, I'm telling to everybody. Yeah, I know. There'll probably be a lot of hikers up there from uh, the tram. They'll go up from the tram and then hike up. That's much easier than any of these other ones. <laughs> Okay, say bye, Ella. Bye. This is uh, Saddle Junction. This is where you come up from Idlewild to Humber Park. And as you can see right there, there's a sign that says Humber Park, Idlewild. And then Come over here. Uh, 
It says no overnight camping allowed at Saddle Junction. Then Chin Quapin Flats and Takeets Peak that way. That's about a mile that way. And then over here is the trail for Takeets Valley, Reed's Meadow, Las Caramba. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. This is going to Sunny Cabbage, Willow Creek, and Long Valley. Okay, that's a long way to go to Long Valley. Long Valley is where the tram comes up from Palm Springs. Uh, here's them. Um, this way, which we're gonna take a break before we head on out, but this way over here is toward where we're gonna go, San Jacinto Peak and also Round Valley. Round Valley is a past Wellman Divide to the right is Round Valley and then you keep on going then you go to Long Valley and I'd rather go that way than to go the other way over there. But we're gonna go to San Jacinto Peak in a little bit. Right now we're gonna take a few snacks, probably take about 10 minutes and then continue on our way. So yeah, August 24th, 2019. Oh, beautiful out here, and the sun looks like a full moon, it's round, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, 24, 2019, and we decided to take a little break here under this rock. We're at <clears throat> probably about five, mile, five and a half miles, and gone past Saddle Junction, we're going to be in the uh, Annie's Junction pretty soon. We're gonna go downhill a little bit. Nice break. Yes, before we start climbing again, there should be some water in about... Mm, hi, Olive. There should be some water in about... about um, probably about a half mile to a mile. There's a spring. Hopefully there's water so we can go ahead and filter some water and get some. We have plenty but we don't want to even come close to running out because it's 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 kind of far. I mean, it's kind of getting warm. Um, should be okay though. <coughs> oh, it's beautiful out here. You like it out here, babe? Look at look at Olive's uh, colorful gla colorful gloves, colorful hat. Look at that. Those, by the way, are not hiking gloves. They're from AutoZone. <laughs> and I have some yellow ones too. They're really good for hiking, grabbing on rocks and stuff. Anyway, uh, nice break. Okay, so here oh. we are. Um, still going on our way to San Jacinto Peak, but we leveled off for a while. And we sh we're actually on the PCT portion of this uh, hike. And uh, we've been on that since we got, we're over at Saddle Junction. And, and uh, yeah, it's really nice. We've been able to get some pick up a little bit of speed when it was flat. So, um, we're gonna run into the PCT crossing that goes left. It'll go north over to Deer Springs, go up into Fuller Ridge. Fuller Ridge all the way down into the I-10, but we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna go straight up to Wellman Divide. But it should be here pretty soon, I don't know. Where, I just wanted to video this because it's really cool. It's really nice. Um, yeah, it is cool. Dee dee dee. Ah, nice shade. Holly. Yeah? She has gone through. What? I don't know how many liters of water. I don't know which one is. Stop hey. it already? No. Hmm? Okay, so get this and uh, 
sure it's all the way open. <clears throat> Water. No wonder it's like Fringoli over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look how beautiful it is! Baby huh. waterfall. Is this the where we get the beer? Yeah! Okay, right there, the one in the middle. Right. The one with Miller Light, the one on the right is Budweiser. All right. And then you got some of the other yeah. craft beer on the left hand side. Yeah. It's good. So take a pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been really hot when it's not covered. Right here we gave it to this area but there's a bunch of ferns and I don't know what else. See the ferns right there. And down there. And it cools everything off really nice. Uh, especially with the shade. Uh, see that, look how pretty that is. I don't know what kind of plant that is right there, but it's mixed in with the ferns and it's really nice. Wow. Yeah. It's really nice. Anyway, I wanted to show that because look at these ferns. Wow. So nice. And if you could feel how cool it is, especially the contrast from coming out of an un uncovered area to a covered area surrounded by all these ferns. Look at this. Nice. I like it. It's like there's no snakes. Look at that. Here we are going up the last switch back to uh, San Jacinto, which is just right up there. And it's been a long haul. It's been almost 10 miles going up. <clears throat> All trails puts it at eight miles, but it's always 10 to 15% shorter. So we're on our way back. Of course you can tell it's kind of downhill because we, we're going at about a 19, 22 mile an hour descent. We're uh, pretty close to, uh, actually probably about a mile or so away from Saddle Junction again. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much alone on the way back because a lot of people came from the tram. They were up there which is uh, starts at 8,100 feet and goes to 10,834 feet. Um, and then, uh, uh, and some went from Deer Springs and we did the, uh, a lot of switchbacks from Humber Park up Devil's Slide to PCT up to Wellman and up to the summit. Hello. Uh, oh, as you guys can see, Olive is a fashion designer. Have you seen her uh, long sleeve shirt earlier? It got too hot, so she designed it. She cut the sleeves off. <laughs> Felipe. Well, she told me to. And coming to the end of the hike. Um, so it is 6.18. We left at 6.45 this morning. Almost 12 hours of walking, hiking. Um, so the All Trails app is always about 10 to 15 percent short on mileage. The Endomondo is normally pretty close with the Garmin as far as mileage. Uh, it's going to put All Trail is going to put the uh, 
it's going to put the mileage at about 15 and a half miles and um, the Mondo which is an Under Armour app it will put it at about 19 and a half miles which I think is more accurate because that's what the Garmin also puts and uh, and it's just well known that all trails is about 10 to 15 percent short so going up was uh, very difficult because going up is always difficult but you don't get into that much pain going down oh my gosh knees hurt bottom of the feet hurt everything hurts um, especially after 20 miles and uh, looks like here is the uh, The olives hurt, feet are also hurting pretty bad. Um, oh, um, hopefully I don't get a lot of blisters. I put uh, some uh, liners called Fox River. They're pretty good. I like them. Light, very thin. They help prevent uh, blisters. And then on top of those, I put some Oh, Marina wool socks. Um, I don't even remember the brand right now. I can't think. It's um, uh, it's really good. They have a lifetime warranty and everything. They're really good. And um, darn tough, darn tough socks. And then on top of those, I have some. Uh, um, calf sleeves that all compression sleeves that uh, Olive is also wearing, <coughs> uh, made by uh, probably Zenha, I think something like that. Zenha, I bought them over at the Boat Runner. Oh my gosh, here we go! End of the trail, and there's Olive over there just waiting. Okay, 